What's up everybody, Jed Johnson here from dieselcrew.com. I'm just uh, working on the last few things today, uploading a video, and I got the spreadsheet started for another round of hard to handle competition. But I wanted to shoot this video really quick because yesterday I accomplished a short term goal that I had set up for myself. I wanted to try to hit at least five sets of one in double overhand deadlift with 500 pounds. So uh, I set this goal last week. So I started out wanting to do a triple with 500 pounds. Um, so I got a set of two, missed the third one. Then I was like, well, maybe I can do five, five sets of at least one. So I got the two, then I went one, 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 and then I missed twice. So I didn't quite get all five successful lifts. So I was like, yeah, that'll be a good short-term goal of mine. Um, it's instead of just like going for more one rep maxes in double overhand deadlift, uh, I'll, I'll try to do a little volume, right? So yesterday was deadlift day and I got, again, I got a two. I wanted to get three, but my hands just couldn't handle the third rep on the 500 pounds for the first set. Then I got one, one, one again. And I knew I was gonna get the, the last single. I, I felt great, I still had more tons of energy left, my hands felt good, and I ended up getting a double. So this, that's what you're gonna see in this video uh, as far as the training footage. And then watch that and stick around because I got a little message for you that I wanna, I wanna share with you. And uh, especially if anyone's dealing with anything in their training, that maybe an injury is holding you back or something like that, you'll want to watch the end of this video. Okay? Thank you. This is 500. The goal is a set of three and then four sets of one. Double overhand, no hook. Too That was a two, one, 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 two. Double overhand, no hook grip, 500 pounds. All right, thanks for watching that. I hope you liked the footage. Uh, I was excited. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do now, next step will be five sets of two. So I don't know if I'll still keep going for that third one in the first set or not. 
might have to cross that bridge when I get to it, but I think the next goal is going to be five sets of two. Now, the message I wanted to give you was something, something you need to know about me is that I've had a litany of back injuries. I've hurt my back so many times it's not even funny. And for years, the, the deadlift was the thing that hurt me the most. So um, you, you might not know if, if you're newer to the channel, but I, I used to do a lot of strongman competitions and I won my fair share. Uh, I think my record was like 50% wins, um, more or less. I did it from 03 to 06. So, um, you know, I was fair, I was a lot stronger when I was younger during those years. And, but my, my deadlift today is just about as strong as it was back then. Um, to give you an idea though, I've, I've hurt my back probably 50 times, if not more. Um, the first time I injured it was my freshman year in high school and it was in gym class and it's, it's happened countless times. Um, the point guard on the high school football, or excuse me, high school basketball team, when my back was out, I wouldn't be able to bend down on the floor. So instead of like bounce passing the ball to me when I was down in the paint, he would roll it to me. And what's funny is he's now my chiropractor. So I actually just saw him today. But, <clears throat> you know, in 2016, in October of 2016, I injured my back so badly that I was on my back for, I think, a week. Um, in order to get back into shape, I had to go to the chiropractor three times a week. I was getting adjustments, rolling table, massage, traction, all that stuff. I think it was three times a week I was going. I think I did that for two weeks. <coughs> um, I thought I was done with a lot of strength sports. When that happened in October 2016, everything that I did hurt. Every position that I was in. Every single one. Sitting, standing, laying down, it didn't matter. My back hurt the whole entire time. And I didn't know if it was ever going to get better. So I kind of rode off deadlifting. And I, Ryan, the chiropractor, and I were talking about it today. I literally said right to him that I, I'm not worried about ever deadlifting again. I just want to be able to train. So, and here I am deadlifting 500 pounds for multiple sets of one or two. So, um, basically, I guess the point I wanted to make was I thought I was done. And I used that to my advantage because that was when I really started to get serious about um, a few of my grip training goals. So, I attacked really hard. As soon as I got back into the gym, I attacked the old school Yorks, the double old school York 45 pinch. Became the first person to ever do that. Uh, after that, I, I don't even remember trying it again, not a single time from March of 2017 until I did it here a few weeks ago at the gym in 2020. Uh, because I immediately shifted over to cleaning the inch dumbbell. And I was able to do that in October of 2018. Uh, in between times, points of emphasis, you know, maybe I would emphasize those feet a little bit lower, a little bit less, and then I would uh, train for a contest for a given time. But um, the focus was, was really, the, those two feats were, were very, very high on my list for a long time. I was like, my back could go out at any time and I might never be able to train these again, so I got to get these done now. So it became a huge priority. So. <clears throat> After I, after I attained those feats, then, then I started doing a lot of core work. So I, I was putting up videos, doing dragon flags, planks, plank variations, planks on Swiss balls, instability stuff, uh, statics for the core, all, all this kind of stuff. And, and everything turned out to be very, very beneficial for me. And before you knew it, I was feeling pretty good. And I, I, I adjusted my positioning. So the way I was taught to deadlift was that you want this big, hard arch in your back, uh, lordotic curve, and, uh, and all that stuff. So I got away from that, and I started training completely neutral on the deadlift uh, and on things like squats and such. 
And after a long time of this core work and just maintaining that neutral, neutral uh, spine on lighter deadlifts, then I was like, well, let's, let's start testing a little bit. And I worked on the trap bar for a really, really long time. And uh, because it was pain free. And uh, I used that as a tool to get me back into shape so that I could do some barbell work because during this whole period, pretty much the only deadlifting that I was doing was on an axle. So uh, it was far submaximal and I don't think I ever injured my back doing axle, never threw anything out. So it was safe in my opinion. And then, you know, around about, around about the time of March when gyms were shutting down and I had to close my gym, I began training at my house again three days a week with some of the dudes from my gym and that resulted in me trying deadlifts and out of nowhere with no with really no previous barbell deadlift training I ended up doing something like 505 or 515 double overhand for a single and I was doing sets of five with 500 plus on the trap bar so I could see that like my strength was coming back and I was feeling more confident and more secure with my abilities. And then I started going for PRs and it's, it's really been going well. So the training methods are, are very basic. I mean, singles, triples, and fives. That's, that's basically all I do. But what I've, what I've been doing is training the deadlift consistently. You don't see much squat stuff from me because I do one deadlift training session, or excuse me, I do one lower body training session a week. And because deadlift has been going so well, I've been focusing on that. Not worried about the squat, I'm never gonna compete at squat, so it doesn't matter. So, uh, and this is going well, so I've just been focusing on it and maintaining that neutral spine and uh, focusing on things like that has really been, really been beneficial for me. I thought I was done, guys. I thought I was done. A little over four years ago, I thought I would never be able to do this kind of training again with any kind of weight, and I was wrong. If you go about it the right way, these injuries can be something that makes you better in the long run. And it doesn't have to be something that holds you back for years and years. It doesn't mean that you have to be done. If you, if you address the concerns that need to be addressed, then you can make a comeback. And uh, I want everybody to remember that. So uh, if, it, if there's any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, if not, no problem. Um, only other thing is, if, uh, if you'd like to support the YouTube channel, support me, I'm going to put a link to Amazon down in the description box. I know a lot of people will be using Amazon for online sales this week, so if you'd like to use my link, I'll get some commissions, and uh, I, I appreciate it. I know a lot of people do not like buying DVDs and things like that on uh, you know, informational products, so uh, if you'd like to support me in that way, I'd appreciate it. All the best in your training, everybody, and uh, like I said, any questions, please let me know. Please give the video one of these. Make sure to subscribe, and of course, all the best in your training.